<laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, just so you know, I'm the general manager here. Got a little badge. <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> That's why I can't be employee of the month, and that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just going to stay with it, though. It looks like I didn't mean to do that. Excellent. Uh, awesome. Uh, so, as uh, we've heard, there's weird shit going on in the world, uh, which I'd like to kind of talk about because, uh, honestly, if we're going to do some shit, I'd like to get that going because I'm getting a little too old to apocalypse at this point in my life. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I got a good 10 years left before <laughs> apocalypse isn't a, a possibility anymore. But people love their apocalypse. Like, we've been through, I think, 63 in my lifetime. There's the Mayan calendar apocalypse, which I didn't get that one. People are like, oh, the world's gonna end. The Mayan calendar is running out. And I'm like, our calendars run out every year. What? <laughs> You understand how calendars work, right? You to one end, then you start back up with the... It's, it's a fucking calendar. Uh, I am pretty stealthy, though, so I'd be good in an apocalypse. Uh, you can tell I work here by the amount of employees just standing around. <laughs> I'm sure there's some work to be had. It's okay. I'm not talking about you, Wayne. Nobody can see you. <laughs> I got included in the show. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, so yeah, I am a, a pretty stealthy guy, so I do good in an apocalypse. The other day, I stand in my office getting some rubber bands, and my boss walks in. And he sits down, starts working on the computer. I find the rubber bands, close the cabinet. He goes, oh, shit, were you here this whole time? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call him out like in the show or anything. Like if, if there was a mic stand with a mic in it, he would probably not see that. <laughs> so, so at this point, I don't know if it's me. Or saying, or, one good thing if the apocalypse happens is uh, my daughter finally moved to Oklahoma, so because it'd be a bitch to find her if they like I'd have to drive to Oklahoma and talk to people there. Ugh, I hate that. Uh, she's lived with her mom most of her life, uh, so this will be fun. It's a little fun new adventure for me because uh, now I can actually ground her. I've never been able to ground her. <laughs> like, the closest thing I've ever got to being able to ground her is just tell her mom that she smokes weed, because then she'd ground her. <laughs> ground her by proxy. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't have a plan coming up here. I'm kind of like the Mick Rib of comedy. I do it every three years, so everybody just thinks I'm good. <laughs> I even have to really do anything. <laughs> As you can tell by my sweet tie, I like science. Science is my jam, which is one reason why I don't care if there's an apocalypse, because once we reset everything, science is still the same. It'll come back. But Jesus probably won't. <laughs> so things about those apocalypse, they're disappointing. <laughs> it's all weird. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, I've really got nothing, to be honest. How are you doing, Jose? I'm good. Excellent. Give me something. <laughs> That's kind of you and your mom's thing. I can't... No, 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 no. Are you, are you on the show? You're not? Oh, so we give him like two minutes so he can do that bit. He's a comic, I know comic. It's not that him and his mom... Okay. No, 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 no. Did not help at all, Jose. Uh, see, all right, I'll just uh, tell you, I like science because it, it solves stupid ass problems that we have in this world. Like, I look white, I'll tell you guys that. I'm, I'm not, I mean I am, but I'm not. I don't know my heritage, so I don't care enough. I think pride is really people's problem. They're too proud of the stupid ass country. And they're too proud of their stupid ass baseball team. You know, you know? Like they just jump into shit and I don't get that. Like just a basic knowledge of genetics and racism is a retarded thing. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody in this room, their DNA is 50% identical to a banana. You're worried about who's cutting your grass? You're probably 75% banana, you know? Uh, I will say this, uh, Willis Carrier invented the air conditioner, and he was ugly, so... Yeah. I, I'm, I'm about that. I mean, 
Tesla never got laid, so... <laughs> That's not a crack on Tesla, it's just his life, it's history. <laughs> it's not like a burn. Oh, I got a Tesla! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> and he's just a weird Romanian dude that nobody had sex with. I, don't know. I mean, I did, because she's sitting back there, there's proof. Yeah, I see the light, and I told you, general manager, don't care. <laughs> Which is weird, because I have nothing to talk about. You'd think it'd be a sweet release. That's <laughs> like life. Just keep going on. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave on that. Uh, so enjoy yourselves, and uh, come back in three years. I'll try another set. <laughs>